I was always getting music from my guy DJ friends, and I realized that, hey, maybe I should stop wasting my time doing this for other people and do it for myself. It worked out in my favor being in New York at the right time and getting into music kind of before the whole DJ craze that now has happened. I've got to open for a lot of people that I look up to as DJs and producers like Seth Troxler, Danny Taniglia, Davide Scolacci, Lee Burridge. Now that I'm in LA, I'm kind of upside down again in a new studio, new music here is a lot more commercial that I'm used to in New York, but I'm just gonna do my thing and keep traveling and playing and hopefully here people will catch on more to the sound that I'm into. Right now I'm working on a project called Laser Eyes and I'm really excited about it because it's been signed to Vision Quest, which is um, one of my favorite labels, so I'm really flattered that they like chose my record. So it's with this guy, uh, Joe, um, he goes by Jaw. He's from Paris, he's in the group DLP. In the studio, I'm like a super perfectionist and I'll spend like a really long time on one part of a song and or a couple of days sometimes on a bass line just to get it right. So it's kind of like DJing is more like impulse and instinct. And studio for me is like definitely creativity, but also a lot of details. You're gonna start with your idea, first of all, and then start with the kick, the snare. Um, then the bass line is probably the part that takes me the longest because I'm really particular about the sounds that I like. I like really like deep and like growly bass lines. Um, the idea for this track um, came from a girl that's kind of like a villain superhero that's terrorizing a guy, like put a love spell on him almost. Some congas and some reverse claps. Um, so now he's like talking and saying that this is the first we go together in New York. And he's basically just talking about how the girl never sleeps and he sees her in his dreams and he wants to know what she sees when she beams on him. <laughs> so it's kind of like fun, humorous, um, nothing too intense. I decided to move to LA because um, I thought it was a good time to take a next step in my career um, and get out of my comfort zone and kind of just get my head in the studio and leave some distractions in New York. And I kind of like reached a plateau in New York where I felt like I just needed a change and it came at the right time. So everything kind of just fell into place. Now that I'm here, and oops, sorry. That's okay, I like a good drunk dial every now and then. <laughs> All right, cool, I'll call you back in a little while. That's my best friend, I miss her so much. That's the one drawback out of leaving New York is I left like amazing friends and like I said, kind of things were kind of just falling into place for me there. So it was a little bit crazy to pick up and move. But I think that it was a good decision and things are only going to get better from here. Um, my inspiration comes from music that I grew up listening to, um, even older music than that. like. 80s music, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, I grew up listening to that a lot. Um, just like really like dance floor friendly stuff. It's definitely not all about what other people think, but when my friends say to me, oh, I can't get enough of listening to your track, it definitely inspired me. When I can play like anything from deep house to like really banging tech house and go all the way on both sides of the spectrum is when I can really shine. Um, so if I'm just playing an opening slot and it's just kind of like getting into the night, I don't really get to open up as much as I would. So I like to go all over the map. So when I can do that, that's when I'm my best. <laughs> It's 
it's definitely taken me a long time to get to where I am now. And every step of the way has been like a huge learning experience. Sure, sometimes people are like you're in the right place at the right time and you get a great opportunity or you meet somebody that can springboard you. But if you don't really like care a lot about it and put the time in and understand what you're doing, um, it's, I don't think you're ever gonna get too far in this industry just because there's so many people that are working really hard, making a ton of music, can't just be a DJ anymore and press buttons. You have to get in the studio and work for hours and hours and hours until you make something that sounds good. Hi, I'm Lauren Lane. 